everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're going to talk about seven useful shortcuts that you should start using today. Now, a few of these are hidden and that you've never seen before, so definitely stay to the very end. So this first one is, let's say that you're watching a YouTube video and you wanted to share with your friend or family member an exact point within a video. So if you're watching this video right here and somewhere along two minutes and 10 seconds is where the topic starts, what you're able to do is let's say you hit on the share button and you can choose any of these options here. But for right now, I'm just gonna choose copy link. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside of a message right on the very top. And let's say that we wanted to send it to this person here. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a copy and paste. Now at the end of this here, what you'll place in is you'll actually put in the question mark. Then you'll actually head over into T, which means the time. And then you're going to do the equal sign. So this way it's going to start at this moment. So we're going to start it at two minutes and 10 seconds. So now we're going to head over, we're going to hit on send. And then now what's going to happen is that when this person clicks on this link here, now it's going to take them right to this point there, which is two minutes and 10 seconds. So let's me just show you really fast again. We're further in the video. We're at five minutes and 20 seconds. Again, I'm going to close out of it. Let's go right back inside of this little link here. Tap it, open it. Two minutes, 10 seconds, hit play. And there you go. This next one helps you out if you have multiple Gmails. So we're gonna go inside of the Gmail application. Now on the top right hand side, you can see your little photo icon. Now, if I don't want to read this account here, if you swipe down on the photo, this will take you over inside of your other Gmails that you have linked up. So instead of you having to go to the very top left hand side and then trying to switch it this way or switching accounts and whatever, you'd be able to actually swipe down on this photo of toggling between all of your Gmails. Now for the third useful shortcut, I'll show you two different ways of doing this. One, if you're using the full screen gestures and the other one, if you're using the navigation buttons, but it's a way that you're able to go from your home screen to your previous two applications. It's just a fast toggle of the two and you want to swipe along the bottom so this right here is the full screen gestures you can see those two arrows letting me know that I'm basically just switching between two applications so again it's going from the left to the right hand side now if you're using the navigation buttons it's actually very similar if you head inside of your display settings I'm gonna move mine over to the navigation bar so here we go we got the navigation buttons and then we're gonna hit on home so here's your recents home back and just like before we started on the left side here Here's your recent applications. Just simply do a double tap. This takes you into your previous two applications, which was the settings of navigation bar and then also uh, messaging. So now we're gonna go right back over, head over into the full screen gestures, which is what I like to use. The next useful shortcut is let's say that you wanted to do a drag and drop or copy and paste of some type of details. So here we are, we're just inside of Google. You can read all of the latest news. So let's just say we go inside of this one here and there was something super important in this first paragraph right here. Now, if you wanted to copy and paste this over to somebody else, one of the nice things you are able to do is you can go inside of your recent applications and with this Google one right here, we're gonna go to open in split screen. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna go inside of messages. And so for this person right here, which we're just gonna keep it as random. So right here, this is what we wanted to share. Just do a press and hold since you'd be almost probably just doing a copy and paste anyways. But instead of doing copy, going down here, pressing holding, doing paste, all you have to do is skip a step press and hold, just do a simple drag and drop, and it's that easy. Useful shortcut number five is if you wanna use text shortcuts. So this is something that you can put a word in and then it'll basically replace it with a shortcut. So if I needed to send off my PO box to review products, or maybe I needed to give somebody my email address, you're able to do a very short key word that brings up a longer sentence or something that is super important. So what you wanna do is just go inside of your Samsung keyboard. You wanna click on the settings icon, and then inside of here, you go to smart typing. Now within smart typing, you go to the bottom that is called text shortcuts. And then you just have to hit that plus button and add in whatever that little shortcut word is. And then you wanna type in whatever comes off after that. So if you have something that's super important or something that's very long, uh, you'd be able to do something like Addy. Now one tip I would mention is that when you do put in your little short word is that it's a word that you don't normally use or a word that's actually not a word at all. Most people probably don't use Addy anymore. This was something that some people might've said back in the nineties. Uh, but the reason why I mentioned this is because when you're trying to type off to somebody and you, if you do actually happen to use the word Addy, then what's going to happen is the moment you hit the space bar, that little text shortcut will be popping up. But if this is what you have to say, 
hit that little checkbox. That's just as a little uh, heads up for in the future. If you do need to type in for some reason, maybe the letters JIP, you wanna hit on that little check mark. Next up is using Google Maps. So if there is a location that you go to all the time, something that you, you generally look up constantly, and let's say on the very top you go to search, and as you go to search, maybe it's probably one of these. But let's say that you use it so often, uh, you'd be able to actually add this to your home screen. So I'm gonna go inside of directions, and then this is gonna give you the directions right here. This is your route to get you over into the St. Louis Arc. But on the top right hand side, you'd be able to hit on those little three little dots. And then over here, you're able to add the route to your home screen. Now, what's nice about it being on your home screen is that it takes you there instantly. So the moment that I open this up, it's gonna start doing the navigation and it's gonna pull up the route. This very last shortcut we're gonna talk about today is one that deals with your lock screen shortcuts. So by default, they're usually on the bottom over here, but sometimes because they're on the bottom and you're already getting in your phone by unlocking it, you might not use those shortcuts. Um, earlier, I also showed you how you're able to have like five or six shortcuts on the bottom over here, but you'd still have to unlock your phone. This is a way that you put your thumb on the fingerprint reader, but the shortcuts will be placed there as you still hold on. Then if you wanna go inside of an application really fast, you drag it to the left or to the right, and you're able to choose which those applications are showing. So it's a way that you're already getting in your phone, you just unlocked it. Just do that little press and hold, just keep it there a little bit longer, and it gets you inside of an application quicker. So how you can turn that on is you wanna go inside of settings, then you're gonna scroll down for your lock screen. And then underneath the lock screen, you're gonna scroll down where it says shortcuts. And then this is where you wanna go from that original button corners default, and you wanna switch it to floating buttons. So when you press and hold where your fingerprint is already, then you're able to go and swipe it to those applications you wanna open. And you can switch your left or your right, just basically click on one of those and then choose the application you'd like to open up. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.